Hey, here I am in St. Vrain Canyon, South St. Vrain Canyon, at our classic roadside crag, Scout Rock. As you can see, it's very roadside. We have the beautiful truck right here and the beautiful rock right here. Today I'm going to be climbing this 5'8", Tom Thumb. Um, lots of classic lines around here, St. Vrain classic. Uh, this is one of my faves. It's a little, little trad line and it's fun. Let's uh, do it rope solo style. Take you along. First thing I'm gonna do, wait for all the cars to pass. Sorry about this noise. Uh, find the end of my rope that just came down. There she is. I'm going to tie a figure eight on a bite. This is gonna go up in the anchor up there. Oop. Looks good. Short, long tail. Feel good about that. I'll clip that to myself real quick and take out the thing that lets us do what we do here the silent partner i'm just going to get it ready ahead of time on the ground here tie a nice clove hitch there wrap it around yield silent partner make sure it's all correct make sure that feels good looks good this is the side i'll be clipping got it locked into my harness Two locking carabiners for redundancy and safety and make sure it doesn't flop around so much this thing can be a real bear sometimes all set that's our anchor right there it's made redundant with three pieces let's go take a look at it unfortunately it is about 10 feet off the ground so there's a little bit of a scramble to get up there but it's pretty mellow not so bad to get to and excellent feet up here so here we are at the anchor as you can see, it's three pieces. We have a nut back here, tightly wedged. Bomber number two, bomber yellow uh, totem there. Equalized with a big knot. Take end of our rope. Feed this into the center point of the anchor on a locking carabiner and lock it. And that's good. Except for an upward pull. Serene wood whip. That all out of the way. Let's double check, make sure our knot looks good. Feeding through correctly. Cool thing about a silent partner is you tie a clove hitch on this drum and it pulls through. You can see the drum spinning. But if you fall, it'll lock. So it's like a seatbelt mechanism. So if there's an intense jarring motion on it, it'll lock up and keep us safe as we lead on our gear. All right, let's get into it. Starts off with this super stellar flake system. Got an undercling here. Awesome feet. Love the side pull. Super cruiser so far. Just super fun. Get a good stance here. Get a finger in. Place this blue totem. Totems. So hot right now, all the rage. You know they're uh, European or something. Pulling the correct side of our silent partner. Flip it. We are now on belay. So if I fall, silent partner locks, anchor holds, and I'm through that piece of gear. So let's keep doing that and get on top. Next piece, number one. I like this placement because it has to kind of sneak in there and it opens up a little bit more. It's a little bit higher, so I gotta pull out a little bit more rope. This is the most dangerous part of the climb, right here, clipping this piece. And we're clipped and safe again. Whew! And I look over, there's a bolt right there. What's going on here, man? <laughs> This part I like to get a toe jam to a high reach. That kind of crappy hold. Then match here. Get some bomber finger locks. Get a nice number two cam here. Big fan of these black diamond C4s. Great placement. Hood whip. Oops. 
locked in. Had these hands. Feet are so good. Such a good jam here. Then we can move on to this flake system. More good feet. I place another number one here in this crack just to be safe. in there a little bit more so we I have to get one more piece in be extra safe check the anchor here I don't care if I sew it up, you know. No one here to judge me except me. Oh, and you, I guess. Don't judge me. Hey, look at that. We're at Le Enco. Ta-da! Get my pass out. Locked in to the anchor here. Silent partner off. Oh, come on. Hard to do with the weighted rope sometimes. But not impossible. Getting expensive, I guess. Threw up through both strands and pull some slack. Get our anchors off the ground. I want to make sure I get back down to solid ground. Let's take some slack. Let's see the rope getting close to the ground there. Close enough is good enough. Get in our rappel device. Those fancy ones. DMN pivot. I like it because it pivots. It's pretty nice when you're laying from an anchor. Wait, my repel device. I feel safe. Looking good, feeling good. Get that guy out the way. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Zip on down and let's clean up our gear as we go. I did just take off my uh, Prusik loop. Sorry for all the safety nerds. I should have a Prusik since I'm cleaning and I'm alone. Don't judge. It's my risk to take, I guess. Pay no attention to the rock behind the camera. And here we are, back on solid ground again. That's Tom Thumb, 5'8", little finger crack with a lot of face holds. Super fun, highly recommend. Come to the St. Vrain Canyon, Scout Rock. It's a good time. Um, yeah, thanks for joining me. Uh, I guess like, comment, subscribe. No, don't do that. Come to Colorado, find some rocks. That'll be good enough for me. Peace, have a good one.